Hi everyone, today I will show you how to fix unable to load library Steam API 64 DLL problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Our first solution is to verify Dying Light 2's files. For this we open Steam. Then click on Library. Dying Light 2 is not downloaded on my computer, so I will show this process through another game. Right click on the game and click Properties. Then click on Local Files. After doing this, we click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. File validation completed. As you can see, there is no missing file in my game. If your game has missing files, Steam will download them automatically. This was our first solution. After following these steps, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our second solution. Our second solution is to download DirectX. To do this, we open Chrome and type DirectX in the search bar. I put the download link in the description section. If you want, you can go directly to the download page from there. Then we scroll down and select the language in which we want to use DirectX. Then we click download. Here we select where we want to download DirectX and click save. Now we open the DirectX installation file that we downloaded. We tick I accept the agreement and click next. Here we untick install the Bing bar if we don't want to download Bing. Then we click next. Our installation process is complete. This was our second solution. Now you can restart your computer and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our third solution. Our third solution is to manually add the missing DLL file. To download the missing DLL file, we click on the link I put in the description part of this video. We wait for 5 seconds and click get link. We close the first page that opens. We scroll down and click on download. After doing this, we choose the place where we want to download our DLL file and click save. We right click on our zip file and click extract all. Then click extract. Now we have a place to put this DLL. To do this, we click on file explorer. Then click this PC. After doing this, we click on disk C then click on windows. We find system32 in our Windows file and click it. Then we copy the downloaded DLL into the system32 file. Then we click continue. We copied our DLL file into system32, now we can close this place. After following these steps, you can restart your computer and check if the problem is solved or not. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.